Okay. Hi, no more intros. I just want to say one really quick thing to clarify what I am doing today. Today, I am going to YouTube Studio for YouTube Creator Talks featuring Dolph Candy and Derek Muller. A lot of people actually advertise their channel to get more subscribers at YouTube Space LA. Are you handing out cards about your channel? Yes. What's your channel? It's dailies, but it's probably has some restrictions. <laughs> has some restrictions, 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 restrictions. And the only reason why I came here, the food. Just, just kidding. I came here for other reasons, but you know, the food is really good, and this guy is gonna tell me about it. Do you know what an Aussie pie is? No. Sort of like a pot pie, all right? Okay. So, we got classic Aussie ground beef, and we got chicken tarragon, and we stack those pies on top of roasted garlic mashed potato, yeah. and then we put minty mushy peas, and then what you do is you put your fork in it, because it's fucking delicious, and you uh, taste it, and eat it, and love it, all right? Okay. That's what we having for dinner and then you want to know about dessert yeah okay it's a lamington sponge cake rolled in chocolate rolled in coconut it's pretty awesome it's rolled in coconut and chocolate yeah, there you go then I had to wait in line to get a wristband so I can go in YouTube space LA are you taping me um, maybe I'm letting you get away with it because you're like the coolest dude oh. I need you to do this please okay. start with your email address now time to eat and you better make it look good. It'll be beautiful, I swear. Yeah. So Mary's um, creating a tiger stack for you. Yeah. So a tiger stack, roasted garlic, mashed potato, Yukon gold, mashed potato. Hand over very calmly to Edgar, who takes chicken the or who beef. takes. Do you want chicken or beef? Uh, beef, please. Okay. Beef. Right. Takes no. the classic Aussie ground beef. It takes three okay. days to make pie. Carefully places that on top of the roasted garlic, mashed potato. <laughs> wow. Hand over to Jerry, coming in with the minty mushy peas and the mushy. Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I actually met No Biggie TV. I actually found his channel from his cheap, loose, expensive food series. Hold on, get out flip basket. No Biggie TV? <laughs> <laughs> so what's poppin'? For a long time, if a blood asked you what's poppin', the correct answer would be... Five poppin', six droppin', crip killer till my casket drop, five alive, six must die, rest in peace to OG Ty. That little sing-songy verse was the difference between getting a buck fifty and being able to, you know, go on about your business. Hello! <laughs> and that's Chino Alpha? Yes, sir. I know you more. You know me more? Yeah. I don't know what to say, but cool. I don't know what to say either, man. We're just chilling, you know. It's YouTube. I'm here for the food. Oh, yeah. I just had some. It's I'm here for the grub. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be Cool. All right, ran into the boy right here. We've Hello. been friends for like 10 years. I haven't seen him. You know, it's good to catch up, man. I'm glad you're doing YouTube now. More than that. Curly gang. Uh, nation. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank Let's you. Go. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Hello, man. He stopped talking to you. I know. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> I didn't watch the video. You didn't watch the video yet? You no. You have to watch it, bro. You gotta watch that video. Okay, I will. Alright, bro. Cool. <laughs> yeah. The rating of all the people on what they feel about YouTube. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm on camera. Yeah. What's your name? Elia. No way. Yeah. No way, your name is not Aaliyah. Yeah. That's my name. <laughs> no, that's my name. <laughs> How do you spell it? E-L-I-A. Mine's A-L-I-A. Oh. <laughs> that's so funny. You stole it. I... Sweetheart, I'm older than you. <laughs> if anyone stole it, it's you. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's great. Yeah. This is Omar. Hi. Hi nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now the creator talk is beginning. Ben Bellis is one of the cornerstones of the company and one of the most creative people I've met. And uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about his career and all the fun stuff he's done. Hey everyone, uh, like you said, my name is Ben Bellis. I don't have a good headshot, so this is brand new, guys. <laughs> You know, I actually took that picture and sent it to him before that whole creator thing started. 
Yeah, I'm not kidding. I talked to a few YouTube creators who've done shows with us. I talked to a few people on the development. Are you taking a picture of the picture? Of the <laughs> <laughs> really. Of course I'm taking a picture of the picture. Why not take a picture of a picture of a picture of me? Huh? I want that picture of a picture of a picture of me because it's for my video. Yay! Now, let's see Dolph Candy, who has a total of 2.5 million subscribers. This woman right here, Dulce Candy Ruiz! Where does the sun get that energy from? Yeah. Where do they get the matter to make the tree? What is a candle flame yeah. really made of? Whoa! <laughs> How does it do that? Go the laws of physics! I can't see the X. I guess the question is why not? I make videos about science. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself. Click on this video to see more and subscribe for a new science video every week. My talk tonight is experimenting on YouTube. <laughs> Everyone wants success, right? I feel like it's funny being a YouTuber because we all do want success. I mean, nobody wants to make a video that no one watches. Then what was the point of doing that? But you also don't want to be that person who's like, all I care about are the views, the subscribers, and uh, because then it seems like your your mission is hollow or something. But I, I don't think it's a bad thing to strive for success. And of course, we all need a certain amount of that to uh, survive and to, to make our, our careers work. So I studied all of the sciences through high school, and I was a very academic student. Guess you could say I was a bit of a nerd. Uh, and I finished at the top of my class of 400 uh, students in Canada. I show you this not to say that I'm some sort of Brainiac or something. Um, I don't think that I was more intelligent than the other students, but I was pretty competitive. Competitiveness came to me, and I really wanted to achieve that. I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. Viral videos are not all flukes. You can you can do things to increase your likelihood of having a viral video. And I think this is something that smaller channels should aim for. The reason I think that is because it exposes your channel to a broader audience which helps bring in new subscribers and help you grow. And then a bit later, the talk ended and the Q&A session started. The question down in front of me. Yeah, you. Hi, okay. So, I was actually watching one of your videos today in science class. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering... Uh, you talking to Delson, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, today I was looking at your video where you talk about quality over quantity. I gotta film it. You got it. I think you should be asking. Oh, I'm just yeah. gonna, go. I'm gonna DP this thing. There you go. Oh, see. So, um, I was looking at your video about quality over quantity, and I noticed that the thing is with YouTube now, it seems like if you were really great on a video, but you only upload once a month. It wouldn't get you as noticed as much as if you upload every day. And that's a problem. I think that's going on with YouTube about that. Yeah, let me give you two points. Number one, I think broadly you are correct. I think it's funny because I made this video, Quality uh, versus Quantity, on YouTube on my second channel. And a lot of people really love that video. Uh, I, I made this in 2015. And one of the things people love about it is that I say that quality is much better. The way that YouTube gives returns on your investment of time and stuff. What seemed to me was that people who were doing it daily were just kind of not growing, and people who were doing it much less frequently and were blowing up on Reddit and stuff were seeing this explosive growth, even if they were incredibly inconsistent and ignored all of YouTube's advice to maintain a schedule. You know, particularly in the science space where you can have an amazing video and it just, you know, uh, blows up because it's featured elsewhere um, on the internet. Um, and so I definitely felt at that time that quality over quantity was the right way to go. Having said that, I feel like the black box has changed. 
in, in the three years since I made that. And, and I want to be clear that like I wasn't making a, a value statement. I was I was saying what I saw from the black box. And now I see something different. I see that you know uh, quantity is incredibly important. And um, I've even gone to the last six weeks I've been up really quickly because I'm scared <laughs> that if I don't, that you can crush me like a bug. <laughs> um, but having said that, the number one trending video on YouTube this morning was by a guy named Bill Wirtz, who uh, I tried to reach out to before when he made his History of Japan video, which was incredibly viral. And he makes almost nothing for like six months, and now he's made another one called uh, The History of the Entire World, I guess. Uh, and it's a 20 minute long video, it's, it was trending number one, had millions of views this morning. So uh, my point is, it is still possible, and he is still doing it. And he's following that recipe of uh, very infrequent, but very, very, very uh, high quality content. So I think it is still possible, but I, I feel like YouTube has moved a lot more towards frequency. So I think what you're seeing, if you're seeing the same thing that I am, is, is quite right, that uh, frequency matters much more now than it ever used to. Guys, uh, we are almost done. We're gonna wrap up with a couple announcements. Um, here's the video in order. Hello. Hi. Hi. No. We're recording right now. Yeah. What's your channel? Elixir. Elixir? What's it all about? Kind of comedy, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. So can you tell me a joke? Knock, knock. Too hard. Okay. Who's there? Interrupting Cal. Interrupting Moo. Interrupting Moo. <laughs> I've got a list of channels that I'm like, yep, they do it, they're daily, but I don't know why they've got a million views every day. Okay, uh, do you know the fidget spinner trend? I have seen some stuff about it. I, I've never actually held a fidget spinner. Uh huh. Yeah. So there are a lot of people. They're doing giveaways on them, and like there's this guy. He got thirty thousand subscribers in two days. Whoa! Doing a fidget spinner giveaway. It was like a live stream, and he was just saying. He was naming names and giving them away. What do you think about that? I think that it's very innovative. He's playing the game. I don't know that it's the best for like long-term growth of a channel, but you know, he's he's getting on that hustle. So. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Derek. Bye. <laughs> well. Okay, so that was actually very interesting. Um, most of this vlog, you can call it, is just listening to what they have to say but it's very interesting so uh, kind of different from what I normally do but you know this isn't something I'd go to often so that's pretty cool I actually met Derek Muller click the I in the top right and vote if you know any of these youtubers in this video I met no biggie TV and uh, Chino Alpha Wolf 2 and now I, I kind of want to try some dessert yeah get into it see what okay here we go Whoa! This is so... Whoa! I taste chocolate, I taste coconut, and definitely that sponge. Although it's not sponge, it's cake. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I really want to see what this stuff is. So, this is a photo booth. A claw machine with YouTube stuff but sadly I need a token and the tokens are locked up and then this Pac-Man game which doesn't need tokens okay here we go uh, uh, no no <laughs> Come on, come on, boom, boom, boom. Pac-Man was pretty fun. But guys, this is gonna wrap it up here. I really hope you like this type of video vlog style thing. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Thank you everyone for watching and good bye.